today's retro spot we're having a look at the Mattel last action hero figures we're looking at heat pack and jack stunt figure Right. Probably a failed toy line that Spot's reviewing based on a horrible movie by a lot of people's standards. Spot actually enjoyed Last Action Hero. It wasn't certainly Arnold's finest moment, but uh, I did enjoy Last Action Hero. He has done a lot of worse movies than Last Action Hero, my friends. A lot worse. Um, on the front of the package, We've got Arnold Schwarzenegger, a l good likeness of Arnie, along with this child. Recognize this child? Of course you do. He was from Last Action Hero. Recognize him in anything else? Absolutely not. Uh, the likeness, for starters, of Arnold in the toy form is pretty good, actually. We'll get into that in a second. It says, caution down below. I don't know if you can make that. It says, only the projectiles uh, provided with this toy should be used. Do not fire at people or animals. Some good information provided us from the good folks at Mattel. And on the back of the package, it says, Last Action Hero, Slater's Creed. In real life, guns and violence are a big mistake. Play it smart. Never play with real guns. I... I like that this is a safety tip. Let's move the camera up here. It's a safety tip brought to us by a, a fictional character. Yes, let's all believe the... Let's believe all the good intentions, all the good bits of safety, courtesy of a guy that doesn't exist, Jack Slater. It would have even been nice if it just said Arnold Schwarzenegger's Creed. But... Something else I want to draw to your attention is the horribly crude drawings. First of all, showing you how to armor up Jack Slater here. It says lock backpack onto back, then pull lever down to aim. Press down lever on canister launcher to fire. Press down trigger to eject rescue blade. And then, and then, to top it all off, look at the crude drawings. I'm hoping my light will do this justice. Look at the crude drawings of these toys. Could they not have simply put in pictures of the actual figures? Instead, we get this. Look at this crude, crude drawing. Spot is a horrible artist, and Spot can draw better than this. It's, it's quite funny. It is really funny. Not, not even ha-ha funny, but it's just more like sad funny. By the way, this comes to us from 1993. Columbia Pictures, Last Action Hero. What I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to tip the camera down first. I'm going to do a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and certainly when we come back, we're going to have a better look at Heat Packing Jack. Stay tuned. There's more on the way. Before we actually get him all geared up, let's first have a look at... Jack Slater. As I was mentioning, for a relatively old toy, what did I say, 1993? That's pretty old. That is pretty old. That's what, 19 years? Is that right? Carried three? Yep, yep, 19, 19 years old. Uh, the likeness on Arnold is pretty good. I mean, by no stretch of the imagination, by no stretch of the imagination, should we look at it and say, well, Spot, NECA figures are a lot better. Yes, we know. NECA figures are also only a couple of years old. Some of them were released last year. But if we compare it to this toy, it was much older. I think the likeness is pretty good on Arnold. All things considered. You know, some, maybe from the front angle, doesn't quite look like Arnold. But when you get to the side, you know, and you turn it to the side, it does look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's got a very standard outfit, Jack Slater outfit. He's got the red t-shirt, the jeans, the white cowboy boots, a little peg hole on the back. His shirt's shredded. It's been torn somehow. We don't know how. But it's not a bad figure. It's really not a bad figure. 
His articulation, I'm going to get this out of the way right now because we're going to focus on all the meat and potatoes that came with it. Uh, he does have a rotation in the head. A little tight, but he still has a rotation in the head. Rotation in the arms. And you guessed it, a standard swivel in the legs. So five points of articulation. It's to be expected with a toy this old. But uh, I really like the likeness of Arnold for an old toy like this. You know, if you were, in, yeah, okay, sure, you can customize uh, NECA toys now if you wanted to, but if you want to go for that real retro look, you could easily turn this into a running man, Arnold. Why not? What's that? Sorry? Kindergarten cop Arnold? Yeah, you could do that too. What? Red Heat? Okay, it's a little more obscure, but sure, you could do that as well. But a pretty good likeness. Pretty good likeness on Arnie. I also want to point out his very nice, fancy-looking belt buckle. So there is Jack Slater. Now let's actually get him dressed up for combat. He comes with this. It kind of looks like the the walking... What do you want to call it? The walker suit from Aliens. Somewhat. Power loader, thank you to whoever said that, power loader. Kind of looks like the power loader, much smaller, the baby brother of the power loader. Some nice detail, got yourself like a saw blade, chainsaw blade on the one side, missile on the other. So what we're going to do, is just going to raise that up, get that out of the way, and uh, we're going to take Jack. You'll see that there is a peg, it's kind of a half moon peg, so it, there's only one way to peg him in. Because you'll see on the back, he's kind of got that half moon thing going on there as well. So I guess what you're going to do, even though I, I pretty much have set this up the wrong way, so I thought it was going to go where the handles go up like this, like so. But I guess based on this, this half moon um, shape, we're actually going to flip it this way. And we're going to take it and we're going to peg it into Jack. Like so. Get it pushed in there. Is it going to stay? I have to add a little finesse. And by finesse, I mean basically you just have to really ram it. Just really force it in there. Get your minds out of the gutter. Is it going to actually fit? Ah, oh, bear with me, bear with me. You know what it is? It's probably the fact that his arms are in the way. Let's move those arms out. Yeah, that's what it is. Sure spot. Whatever. It's his arms. Let's pick this into place. There we go. Ah, it was his arms. So, meh. <laughs> so childish. Um, so, yeah, he's hold he's got his backpack on now. What was I originally thought was his the handle that he held. I was being so silly. It's not the handle. It was a, like a little visor. I can see what he's doing. I don't know if that's a ray gun. Kind of looks like it could be a ray gun. That would be preposterous, but nothing's too possible. Nothing's impossible for Jack Slater. Now what we can actually do is take these. We'll just raise them up. Now on the package, it looks like he's supposed to have handles to put his arms against, like where he can actually hold onto these like he's using it. Uh, there is no handles at all on this. There's something in the back, but nothing that he can certainly hold on to. So you kind of just have him doing this. He also looks like a centurion as well. Once again, he's got a chainsaw on the one side, missile on the other. To operate them, to fire them, there's a switch on the back here and a switch at the top. We fire the switch at the back and he fires off a missile. A missile with the top of it looking like that group. Devo, is it Devo? Whip it good, just whip it. The other thing he fires is a chainsaw, a chainsaw blade. Press the little button on the top. Oh, sorry, he doesn't fire it, he just extends it which actually is funny because if he had fired this I was gonna make a comment like who's gonna fire chainsaw blades he doesn't fire chainsaw blades he just retracts it once again press the button and he retracts the blade good for carving turkey or carving villains in half and then when you're done you can just have you can just have it propped back I guess it would also help him stand 
or you can just have it lower down. You'd obviously have to have to have the chainsaw blade in or in inside for it to be able to sit, you know, to sit lower, lower down like this. I don't know if I really like the gimmick. I mean, for a kid, the gimmick sure would probably be pretty fun. I think really the draw in this is so much more so the likeness of Arnold. Way to go, Mattel. Um, I would say if you're into retro toys, don't overlook this line. If you even if you even if you didn't like the movie, for starters, I would say if you didn't like the movie, give it another try. I've watched it three, four times, and by three, four times, I mean within the last year. Um, I actually enjoy the movie, but if you didn't like the movie, I would still say give this figure line a chance because you can get some pretty cool retro Arnie figures out of it. How cool is that? This, not so much, but really digging the likeness of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Heat Packing Jack, this doesn't want to now stay up. Heat Packing Jack, I think I'm going to give him an 8.5. An 8.5 for a really cool figure. Today's Retro Spot, we're having a look at the Last Action Heroes. And today we're having a look at Heat Packing Jack. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.